What's up peeps, Dexac Pro with a new one. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you how to install games or apps on your jailbroken PlayStation 4 via Network by File Transfer Protocol or FTP client. The benefit of installation with the FTP is that you can transfer the package to your PlayStation 4's hard drive via network that you won't need USB stick or external hard drive anymore. Here are some steps that you need to take in order to get this job done. The first step that you need to take is you gotta inject the gold hen. The second one, downloading and installing internal package installer application for your PlayStation 4. The third one is downloading and installing FTP client on your computer. The last but not least one is file transferring and installation of the game or app on your PlayStation 4. Great. Before getting started, I want you to know that my PlayStation 4 system software version at this moment that I'm recording this video tutorial is version 9 and this method that I teach you will work on all of the previously jailbroken system software versions such as 7.55, 6.72, 5.05, and so on. So first thing first, I need to jailbreak my PlayStation 4 by injecting the gold hand into the kernel. If you're not familiar with the jailbreaking your PlayStation 4 version 9, which is the latest one at this moment, then I suggest you watching this video tutorial I already made for you previously. Awesome. Now log into your local account on PlayStation 4. Go to Settings, User Guide, and hit on gold hand. Wait for the message to insert the USB stick contains the exploit. Here's the message. I plug the USB stick into PlayStation 4 and I just wait for the second message which is unsupported file system. Ok, here's the message. Now I hit on OK and I'm all set. Gold hand successfully injected and the PlayStation 4 is jailbroken right now. Tremendous. The second step is downloading and installing internal package installer for PlayStation 4. So I put the link in description below that you can download it from here. When your download is finished, you gotta install it on your PlayStation 4 by plugging USB stick to your computer, then right click. Click on Format, change the file system to XFAT, and click on Start. Finished. Nice. Now you gotta transfer the internal package installer application into this USB stick by drag and dropping it here. Awesome. Unplug and plug it back to one of your PlayStation 4's USB ports. Then go to Settings, Debug Settings. Game, Package Installer, and here is the internal package installer application that we just copied into the USB stick. And thanks to the new jailbreak on version 9, you can also have a quick access to the package installer menu by getting back to Settings, Gold Hand, and finally the package installer. Now select the package and hit on Install. Cool, now the app is installed and ready to use. As you can see, when I get back to the dashboard, it's here with its icon. So far so cool. Okay, let's go for the next one, which is the file transfer protocol client for your Windows. There is this free FTP client that I always use with the name of FileZilla. So go for filezilla-project.org, click on FileZilla client. It takes you to the second page. Again, click on Download FileZilla Client. Here is the pop-up menu. Click on the first one, which is FileZilla and download it. Great! Time for installation. Double-click on Setup .exe file. I agree. Next. Next. Next again. And finally, hit Uninstall. Wait for installation. Next. Uncheck Start FileZilla now and click on Finish. Awesome. Now it's time to connect the PS4 to your router becoming a node in your local area network by getting back to PS4. Settings. Network. 
and connect it to the Wi-Fi router. Connect it. Great. Get back to settings. System. System information. Then check what IP address the PS4 has. As you can see, mine is 192.168.1.103 that we need it for FTP client afterwards. Great. Since I want to use FileZilla to transfer game to my PlayStation 4, I need to enable FTP server on my PlayStation 4 that FileZilla as the client can communicate with the console via network for file transfer. So to do this, get back to settings, gold hen and check the FTP server to enable it. It's enabled and ready to go now. Nice. Back to the computer, fire up FileZilla FTP client. Here's the user interface. So I type the IP address of my PlayStation 4 here, which is 192.168.1.103 and put the port number of FTP server running on the PlayStation 4 that we just enabled, which is 2121 here, nice and easy. Then click on connect. Here we are. I am connected to the PlayStation 4 via FTP protocol. Then I browse the data folder and drag and drop my game, which is Backgum and Blitz, inside this data folder to install on PlayStation 4. Great. Here is the game, copied there, but make sure that there is no space or symbols in the name of the game, otherwise it won't be recognized, okay? It's really important, guys. Just pay attention, please. No symbols, no space, no nothing. Just a name. Now, here's the tricky part. When you switch back to the PlayStation 4, you can notice that there is no game installed because there is no icon here, right? So here's the thing, since we transferred the game with the FTP via network on the PlayStation 4 hard drive, the game is just transferred but not installed. That's why we already installed internal package installer on the PlayStation 4. What internal package installer does is that it searches the internal hard drive of the PlayStation 4 to be specific inside the data folder and finds the package. Then it starts to install it automatically after the recognition. So what I'm gonna do right now is just open up the internal package installer app and wait for seconds. Here it is. It detected the game and starts to install it. Alrighty, it's installed and ready. Let me fire it up, making sure if it is working like a charm. Great, works like a charm. So I'm done with this kind of installation, but you still need to do one extra step that I didn't mention, and it's really important, saving the free space of your internal hard disk drive of your PlayStation 4, which is getting back to the FTP server that we already opened it up and the connection is still established. Try to go to the data folder and try not delete this game that we already transferred from the computer to the PlayStation 4 hard disk drive because we already installed it and this game, this package here, is the extra one. It just takes up the free space of your internal hard disk drive of your PlayStation 4. I mean, we have to just delete it right now. So you just select it and delete it. And that's all you have to do. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Subscribe to Dextech Pro YouTube channel. Channel.